Guys, follow me. I've got something really, really cool to show you. It's the all new BMW i7. Just introduce itself, Jacob. Hello there. That's right, we're taking a first look and walk around tour of the all new BMW i7. This is the flagship EV, pretty much car really from BMW and it is in Insane. So today we're going to try and answer a couple of questions. One, is this thing worth almost 300,000 Australian dollars before on roads? And then two, Jacob, what makes this thing just so incredible? A lot. And of course, big shout out to our channel sponsor, Driver. If you want to get the best financing possible for your next car, whether new or used, click the link in the description below or the comment section. And also, every set alone gets a $150 fuel voucher. Probably won't need it for one of these ones, Jacob. No, but we will. We definitely will. <laughs> so there's a lot going on. Let's start with the coolest thing. Here you have Swarovski daytime running lights. That's right, these are made by Swarovski. The, yes, the diamond company, and they sparkle really, really cool, Jacob. This thing is sick. How cool is that? I can't it's get just, over that. Uh, it's amazing. It's I, amazing. I mean, it's super over the top. And when you're paying 300 grand, that's kind of what you expect, but still. I think it's awesome. Down here, you've got your headlights. They are low beam, high beam, of course, super duper bright. As you can see here, this is no normal i7. This has been finished in a frozen black or something they call it. Whatever it is, it's like a matte black and it is the coolest color I have ever seen on any car. And by the way, if you wanna see just as cool of a color, if not a cooler car, go watch my BMW M3 touring review. That's come out at the exact same time because that thing looks amazing as well. Look here, you've got enormous kidney grills. They're not going anywhere. They're only ever gonna to expand to the point where they take up the entire car, but actually I don't mind them. What do you think, Jake? I think we need bigger grills. I think we need, we need we, the car needs to be a single grill at this point, but you can see that they're wrapped with, they call it like signature, kidney grill lighting or something. Whatever it is, it's pretty cool. A lot better than what they used to do where it was on the inside and it just looked really naff. It's super aggressive. Like it's literally got like that M3 styling around the BMW badge. I think that's so cool. And otherwise it's all blocked off because of course this is an EV and you need to get it as efficient as possible. Just like you, Jacob, doing this job. You're doing great, mate. Doing very well. Let's talk about the side. So the BMW i7 is bigger and badder in every single way, including its length. It's so long, we can't even get it into our wide angle lens. Jacob, make it all the way wide. Oh, fuck. <laughs> And it's insane, it's huge. In fact, it's 130 millimeters longer than before and you can only get this as a long wheelbase. So yes, the long wheelbase is even longer. It's like an XL base, like my body weight. Anyway, as you can see here, we got 21 inch wheels. They look pretty damn cool. Pretty standard though for a BMW, I would say. Unfortunately, we can't take this for a drive yet. This is still a pre-production, but as soon as we do, we will post it on the channel. So make sure you do subscribe, dancing baby, dancing baby. That's awesome. M badge here because Australians love their M Sport package. That comes as standard across every Australian delivered BMW 7 Series, though you can de-option that if you want to. Blacked out mirror caps here, at least with this frozen. <laughs> I love it. It's an individual color, but if you don't individualize your car like that, you something wrong with you. This is pretty big. So they're kind of going for this uh, new effect now to make this a bit more Rolls Royce, as they say. So using the key, if we hold down this button here, look what happens. Hey, all the doors open up of the car. It's a bit of a party trick. You don't really need to open all four doors at any given time usually, but still very cool. Let's close it again like that. That's the sound of luxury, Jacob. You can also press this button here and look, the door just pops open a jar. You're blocking the ultrasound. Oh, is Ultrason that why? Ultrasonic. That's why. You gotta stand back. Good point. Down here are ultrasonic sensors. They're all around the car. So now the door opens up like that. Great point, Jacob. <laughs> what would I do without you? And then we'll get onto the interior in a second, but you just press this button here. There's too many buttons. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just like that, it closes. Easy. How easy is that? Same with the back doors, although this one has something cool to it too. I'm not used to technology, man. I'm stuck in the dark ages. You have partially frameless windows. How cool is that? That's really cool. Just look at, I, I just, I just want to have another look at this car. That is beautiful. Not as beautiful as you, mate. Look at the stature. Let's check out the booty. Okay, so what about uh, the booty? Well, first of all, you'll see these really cool LED lights here. They did a little dancey dance there. i7 badge, we like that. This is the xDrive 60. In other countries, you will be able to get an M xDrive 70, and that will put out so much more power, but this still puts out a stupid amount of power. 
Jacob, do you remember the stats? Not really. So this one here puts out 400 kilowatt of power, 745 newton meters of torque. This thing is going to be insanely quick, pegged at around 4.7 seconds, zero to 100. So that's very, very fast. But we're gonna have to test those claims, Jacob. We will. We're gonna put it through its paces. We will. BMW logo. I feel like it's even bigger than before. It is. It's, got it's expanded just like the grill. <laughs> it really has. Blue accents around electricity, color of electricity, of course. And of course, one press button here tailgate lifts up and exposes a boot. Now this only has 500 liters. That is still plenty. As you can see, you can definitely get a couple of large suitcases plus at least three Jacobs in there. So that's pretty impressive. You've also got some underfloor storage with your charging cables and you can't put down the back seats, unfortunately. And that's because of the amount of technology, which you will see in just a second. Jacob, what do you think of the looks? Just Incredible. Incredible. Actually, before we get into the interior, let's just very quickly talk about the battery because of course this is an EV. It has a 106 kilowatt hour battery. That's very, very big. Now in terms of charging, it's very similar to the BMW iX that we reviewed, Jacob. Very, very similar. So you can charge this up at max 200 kilowatts if you find yourself a fast DC charger. Good luck with that for now. But you do get a five year Charge Fox subscription included within the purchase of this car. So that's actually really, really good. That'll save drivers a crap ton of money. And if you're actually using this as a limousine, I mean, that's a pretty good thing, right? You can also charge this from the wall in your home, but that will take just forever, about 50 hours if you want to do it uh, that way. So I don't recommend that because you will be off for a couple of days before you can drive this car. Now let's check out the interior. Now, naturally we're going to start the review in the back seat because that is where just the coolest happens so first things first let's close the door effortlessly just like a rolls royce now this is a pre-production car but we do have screens on both sides for the passenger left and passenger right and here you can control absolutely everything including first of all jacob putting the car into boss mode start the time lapse so here we are <laughs> That was, that, was, that was a solid minute. That took like a minute. <laughs> here we are in boss mode, so we can continue now. As you can see back here, this is not leather, and no, this is not vegan either. This is cashmere. So this is a mix of cashmere and leather. You can get merino leather if you want to kill all the cows, but if you want to reduce the death of cows, this is a really nice way to do it, and this is definitely the way to go. It feels so comfortable. Jacob, how nice is it in here? true luxury. How does it feel that you have to hold the heavy camera while I get to sit here in boss mode? I'm having fun. Yeah, well, this is why you get paid. Super duper comfy back here, but it doesn't end there. Again, these pre-production screens are not the fastest, but what we can do, if we want to, using this, we can go to display, and then this is insane. We're folding it down in, in theater mode. All the screens go up, it starts playing music. What's going on, man? I think it's Hans Zimmer. He's speaking to you. There are 39 speakers in this car. You can't make that up. I feel like they should have just rounded it up at 40, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of... Lost opportunity. OCD is kind of sore. But this is a 31.9 inch screen. Not only that, it's 8K. I still don't believe it. It's an 8K screen. And there's a camera in here, so you can have your business meetings. And honestly, you'll look like a bit of a twat. Because you'll be sitting in the back here in boss mode being like, I don't care if we have to fire Roger. We need that $3 billion in the account by tomorrow. Yeah, but how else are you going to bring up the fact that you have cashmere seats in your car? <laughs> that's true. That's because that's not a conversation starter, generally speaking. Exactly. This is unreal, man. Can't wait to do the full review on this and find out what the niggles are of actually living with one of these cars. But still, the cashmere is so nice, especially when it's hot or cold. It stays really well tempered. Not only that, you have massage seats back here, Jacob. Both sides. Not only that, they are heated and cooled. And not only that, you can actually fold down this center armrest here, which feels amazing, and you've got a wireless charger there. But it means that you can have three seats in the back instead of just four like you were stuck with in the last seven series. That's a lot of thought. That's a lot of thought and design. Should we talk about the front seats? I almost don't want to. I think we just stay here. There are cool things. Let's do it. This is the only way I can describe the interior of this thing. Bro, this iDrive 8 system, it just seems so insignificant now. It seems small. And this is a 15 inch display. Infotainment's really, really good, blah, 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 whatever. You look a bit impressed. I am so impressed, as I should be for the kind of money that this kind of car commands. Up in front of you, you do get an instrument cluster. Of course, it's digital. If it was analog, I would just end the review now and I would go home, right? But it's not, it's pretty awesome. What else is there to talk about? Well, there's so much, I just don't think we can even get through it in this walk around review. Again, subscribe for the full review. Soft touch materials, as you would expect, everywhere. I love the cashmere, man. 
feels so comfy. It's like, it's like you know what it feels like? It's like when you get a mattress for the first time, but you don't have to put a sheet on top of it. You just sleep right on that mattress. And th- that's, that's literally been my dream. But mummy and daddy have never allowed that. Open pour wood there as well. It's amazing. What else is there? Well, look at this. <laughs> that is just so cool. I don't even know what to call this kind of ambient lighting, but it's in like this diamond pattern and it looks amazing. There's some really extra stuff here. For example, we press this button. Glove box comes down. I didn't even think I got that. There's just so much to look at. It's, it's, it's unreal. I feel like this ambient lighting would be really cool on expressive mode. Oh, shall we change the modes? Go into my modes? Put on expressive. <gasps> that is really cool. Oh. Let's change the color. Look at the door panel. <laughs> Bro, we are like two kids in a candy shop right now. Oh my God. This Other cool things is I've opened the sunroof and it's colored. We have a colored sunroof. You can't even see it in the camera. No, but it's changing color as well. It's blue and yellow for the expressive mode. This is amazing. By the way, my massage seats have turned on up here too because of course <laughs> we get the cashmere, we get thick pile carpets. It's unbelievable, man. I think we're going to cover about 20% of this car in this video. Oh, stay tuned for the full review. Seriously, like it, that's going to be like a 60 minute review. Steering wheel feels super duper nice. You got a flat bottom steering wheel here. It's really cool. Not everyone's going to love it, but I do. You've also got a button here, which puts on sport boost mode. I can't wait to drive this thing. It's going to be super duper quick. Let's open this glove box. Oh, felt lined, of course. Feels pretty nice. You've got a couple of cup holders here, Jacob, but do they pass? the dream catch a water bottle test. Let's find out. It's time to make the journey. Okay, Jacob's dream catch a water bottle here. Of course it fits it, it fits it really well. And because this is purple, let's try BMW's voice command, see if we can turn the car purple. Hey BMW, can you please change the interior lighting to purple? The light color can only be set in personal mode. You dumb! Okay, so semi-final thoughts on the BMW i7. I think that this thing is going to be an absolute destroyer when it comes to the limousine space. This thing is stupidly well kitted out. How will it perform? Well, we'll have to see when we get our hands on it. So again, make sure you subscribe for that. But I think as it currently is, yes, you are paying a lot of money, but you're getting a lot of car. This thing feels super duper special. Jacob? This is just the future. This is the future. Thank you guys very much for watching. Again, if you need finance, click the link below. You won't regret it. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. I'd love to have you around and click the like button. Helps the channel out a lot. Comment down below. What do you think of the new BMW i7 and 7 Series as a whole? Ciao for now.